In the first three weeks, teams broke through in some big wins. But in week four, we're looking for something sweet. While some still look to find their groove, others look to keep rolling in the dubs. Let's crank up the heat and crank on the Jets to see what week four has in store. This is ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday, sponsored by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. When you have one shot to win it all. What is up, everyone? Welcome into week four. Yes, week four of Sports Zone Football Friday. I am ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones, alongside, of course, Chanel Porter. Chanel, a lot to get to tonight. Our game of the week is an exciting one. Obviously having some rivalry action between Battle and Hickman, always a good game. Yeah, Natalie, not only is there history between these two teams, but there's also some extra incentive on the line tonight. Both of them still looking for their first win of the season. Yeah, Chanel, before this one started, you know, Hickman and Battle, an absolutely amazing showing of sportsmanship. Before kickoff, the QPs presented Spartan running back Ricky Dunn with a Hickman jersey to honor his late father, Ricky Dunn Sr., who of course played football for the QPs today. Would have been his 48th birthday. Looking to honor him in this one. He always does a great job of honoring him, though. First play of this game. Here's Dunn doing his thing. Taking it down the sideline. Huge gain for the Spartans to start this game off. That drive would end with a touchdown and also a two-point conversion. Ain't nothing. Battle up quickly. Next Spartan drive. If you aren't looking right now, I'd look over. Justin Goolsby lifted up a bomb, but look at the grab from Dequal Wright in double coverage, no Two guys less. on him. That's a play, and that's huge momentum for Battle, and just plays later. Dunn gets it in for the touchdown. He had to do that tonight. Over 200 yards for him on the night. 14-0. Battle on top. Still first half. QP time now. Zach Wright going to punch one straight in there. Nice and easy for six. He was that drive, folks. Big performance for him, cutting the lead. Now second quarter, though, tough to do much when Battle's doing this. It's Goolsby again. This time a man in the zone. Who else but DeQual Wright? Another beautiful catch, and Battle goes on to win this one, 47-29, big time over Hickman. Well, down in Jefferson City tonight, it's a battle between the undefeated as Elias hosted Cardinal Ritter. Lions with the ball first. Antoine McKay completes the throw. But check it out, it's stripped and fumbled on the play. Crusaders take over on downs. Drew Miller in the pocket. He rolls out, gets it to Trey Booten. But oh, the no. fumbles contagious oh, no. down there in Elias. Lions get it back. McKay towards the side to Frederick Moore. He bobbles it, but he holds on. And he's going to take it all the way to the house for the first score of the game. 7-0, Lions go up first. Chris Henches looking for an answer out of his offense. See if he can get one. Miller dropping back. He gets it over the middle to yes. Corbin Fisher for the big gain in Lion territory. Going to get them pretty close to the end zone. Down by the goal line now, it's Brady Rush rushing into the end zone to tie us up. But Cardinal Ritter goes on to close this one out big, 40 to 14. Well, back here in Columbia at Rockbridge tonight, snow cones galore. Wish Bring I was me there. one of those. I want one. Second quarter, Cap City up 21 3. Look out for Tamizic Johnson coming in hot from 20 yards out, and that cuts the lead to 11, still in favor of the Cavs. Next RB possession, though. Watch out for Drew Locke's cousin, Sam Kaiser. Look at him go. He's always good. Rolls out here and finds a wide open Derek Young in the zone. We have a ball game. It's 21-17. Cap City trying to make some moves here. But look at this. Thomas McKenzie trekking him down. Knocks the ball loose and it's recovered by August Fitzinger. And the Bruins have the ball. But a lot of drama in this first half. Rockbridge running back the halfback toss. And Steven Gibson chucks it downfield. Look at that. Mark Hadjasek is there. Five yard, five, inside the five for a 40 yard play. Next play though, look at that. The snap goes 20 yards over the head of Kaiser. Isaiah Franklin scoops it up. That's back to midfield. The drama. Something's brewing. Cavaliers try to extend the lead here. That's some momentum off that play. The fans are looking for it. Hayden Carroll. Rolls out, hits Jalen Thomas, but look out Damn. for Fitzinger again. <laughs> and that's half. Bruins end up closing this one in OT 35 28. 
It's homecoming night for the Jays as they host Smith Cotton. They get up early 14-0 over the Tigers, but not so fast. Smith Cotton's ball by the end zone, the handoff to Mylon Hawkins. He takes a few on his back and rolls into the end zone to get some points on the board for the Tigers. Jays back with it deep in their own territory. The handoff bobbled. A pile of Lion jerseys jump on it. In a matter of just a minute, we have a tie ball game. Jefferson City needing something big to get back on top. And here it is. Jacob Wilson connects with Kendrell Jordan. Getting close to the end zone and the handoff to Rodney Wilson for the score. The Jays close it out 42 to 27. Scoreboard now. Camdenton got a huge win tonight against Parkview 65-6. Kirksville beats Moberly 34-14. Hannibal shuts out Fulton 48-0. They're on fire this season. Hallsville finishes off for sales 18-6. We've already seen a lot of big scores, a lot of big wins so far tonight, but we have some more good ones to get to. So we'll be right back after this break. At First State Community Bank, we believe in our communities. And in giving back. We'll help you give back too. Come see us at our new location off Discovery Parkway. Open a new account and we'll give $50 to one of the fine nonprofit organizations in our community. We're not the biggest bank around. But no one will do more to get you what you need when you need it. First State Community Bank. Community strong. You keep banking, we'll keep building. Whether you're looking to maintain your yard or your whole ranching operation, Heritage Tractor has John Deere mower and tractor packages that make work fly by. We offer a variety of horsepower and attachment configurations so you can find the right package to fit your needs and budget. Stop by one of our 21 convenient locations to learn more about our exclusive mower and tractor packages or shop us online at heritagetractor.com. Are you ready to open the door on the next chapter of your life? Come and take a tour at the place where people love to live, the Terrace. Our spacious apartments provide the perfect environment to transition into relaxed living, all the while staying vibrant and active. And did we mention the food? Our chefs create delectable dishes to share around a table of your best new friends. Make the next chapter of your life a rewarding one. Call today to hear about our new specials, TerraceRetirement.com. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones. The high school football season is underway. You don't want to miss our Game of the Week. Tonight, watch MyZoo TV at 7 as the Battle Spartans take on the Hickman Cupies live from Hickman High School. ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday High School Game of the Week is presented by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer and made possible through a partnership between the networks of Mid-Missouri, CPS Athletics, the Columbia Area Career Center, and these fine sponsors. Make your first impression impressive with Wash Authority. Since 2013, we've taken exterior cleaning services to a whole new level. Our soft wash process improves the look of your home while maintaining its integrity. Brighten and restore concrete with our hot water surface cleaning process. And top it off with gleaming, streak-free windows. Instantly renew your curb appeal with Wash Authority. Live cleaner. Live happier. School started. Is your internet fast enough? Gear up during Extreme's end of the summer sale. Get fast internet as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Extreme's fiber powered internet gets an A plus for performance with speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig, powerful in home Wi Fi, and 99.99% network reliability. Hurry and get Extreme Internet for as low as $19.99 a month for a year. Dial 844 Extreme 2. It's the smart call. When storms are headed your way, ABC 17 Storm Track Weather alerts you to severe weather threats. That could bring some isolated hail, but certainly some heavy rain. And potentially a tornado. Using Storm Track Radar to track the storm's path. Going to go ahead and put a track on the system. Get near shelter if you are in Pilot Grove, telling you exactly when it will reach your neighborhood. Arriving in Holt Summit by 1036. Always tracking, always alerting. Giving you advance warning to keep your family safe. We are ABC 17 Storm Track Weather. Welcome back. We already showed you a ton of big games, and we have some more to show you tonight. 
Starting off, the undefeated Blair Oaks Falcons. That's a familiar phrase, isn't yeah. it? I feel like Blair Oaks always <laughs> on a roll after back-to-back -back wins at home. The Falcons hit the road this week up to California and hopes to keep that streak alive. Beautiful night for some football out in California, really everywhere. Pintos out of the gate hot. Look, this long drive, and it all started from this. Cameron Combs on a long reception. Doesn't quite get there, but they would punch that one in to take an early lead in this ball game. Blair Oaks can eat up pretty quickly, too, though. Look at this. Brady Garpin tipping the pass to himself for the interception. He can do it all. Picking things up in the second quarter now. Blair Oaks up 14-7. Dylan Hare, he can do it all, too. Taking the quarterback run Off all the, the way to the house. He's done that a time or two before, I think. Maybe. I don't know. He's not done yet. The kids want more from him. Check this out. Drop him back. Fakes him out. Launches this pass right into wow. Alec Weiberg's <laughs> bread and basket. That puts the Falcons up by three scores. It's hard to catch them when they get up that high. Pinto's not going away, though. Martin Kilmer must have seen that Dylan Air Bob, because look at that, a dime of his own. It's Aiden Bryant in stride. A lot of deep throws in that I one. know. 28-14 before the half of Blair Oaks doing what they do would eventually pull away, ultimately taking the home the home and win 52-14 to and remaining undefeated this season. Not too surprising there. Southern Boone took its first road trip of the season tonight out to Booneville. First Pirates drive of the game. Eagles forced to punt, but Ethan Watson came to play tonight. Gets a huge stop on the punt. No progress there. 50 seconds to go in the first. Jackson Johns gets Booneville on the board, running outside and in for six. Seven, nothing. Let's check out the Eagles, though. Austin Evans rolling out. He hits Chase Morris what a with the rocket. That's a touchdown. These teams trading punches. Here's Booneville's response. Colby Catton hitting Johns in strides. He's finds the zone again. Touchdown Pirates. And Booneville closes this one out. Close game, 18 to 14. A lot of close games tonight, too. We've got some conference action between Mexico and Marshall tonight. Let's get to that action. Jackson Case hitting Stephen Cavanis. Look at him go. Nice gain there for the Owls early, but it didn't really get him anywhere. Later, Mexico really dominant in this game. Check this out. Ty Sims taking it. The distance. Can't quite get to the zone, though, but they would eventually. Trust me, big momentum play for the Bulldogs. Now Marshall fumbles, and look at this. Matt McCurdy scooping it up and scoring. Mexico, as I said, absolutely dominant performance over the Owls tonight, winning 35-14. The Bulldogs are now on a two-game win streak. We'll need a powerhouse in Hannibal next week. Scoreboard now. Osage blinks Eldon 28 to nothing. Centralia wins 40 to eight. Highland dominates Clark County 50 to eight. Harrisburg shuts out Paris 36 to nothing. Fayette wins it 21 to 18 over Westran. St. Francis Borgia dominates Duchenne 42 to three. North Callaway ends up getting it done against Louisiana 30 to 12. Wright City takes it against South Callaway 40 to 24. And Mark Twain beats out Montgomery County 50 to 18. Have you ever had a breath when you do those scoreboards? Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of them. <laughs> Heading out to Salisbury now. The Panthers have started this season off hot. Really can't be stopped. I feel like every time we're cutting a highlight for them, a lot of points on the board. <laughs> yeah, Natalie Salisbury looking to extend that winning streak to three games tonight in a matchup with Scotland County. Let's check it out. It's homecoming also there for the Panthers. Got to get a win on homecoming night. First drive of the game, Salisbury hits Daniel White on the edge. He takes it down the sideline. Big gain on this one. This drive is going to end in a touchdown, six to nothing. A few minutes later, Salisbury hits Jake Sellers on a quick hitch, taking it down the sideline. And he's going to take that one all the way in for the six, 12 to nothing. The Panthers go on to win their third straight. 48 to 7 on homecoming. Ooh. Love that performance for Macon making the trip out to Palmyra tonight. This is a big matchup. Early in this game, Panthers get a quick lob pass over to Brett Tutter. Doesn't quite make it in there. Next play, though, they're going to end up doing it. Marty Smizer gets the QB keeper and brings it in for six. Palmyra gets up 7 0. But Macon is going to more than respond to this one pass to Jonathan Bray. Taking it in. Look at this. Touchdown. 
and Macon wins it 49 to 14. Big win over Palmyra tonight. Next, we're going out to Carrollton. That's where we find the Russellville Indians. First quarter winding down Russellville with a QB keeper. But look out for the pitch on the side. Takes it quite a ways. Minutes later is going to go in for a TD to make this 7 nothing. Carrollton responds, though. Already a touchdown. Parker Minnick hits the tight end. 8 to 7 now. Russellville on top of Carrollton. They go on to close it out 35 to 15. Big win for the Indians tonight. Monroe City goes big over Shelby, 46 to 8. North Shelby, look at this, dominate 74 to 30. That's a high score over Schuyler County. Owensville takes down St. James, 42 to 8. Tipton gets it done against Slater. Big score as well, 62 to 12. A lot of big scores tonight, Shelby. Lots Bowling Green stomps Van Far, 64 to 6. Pleasant Hill takes it 45 13 over Clinton. Herman Hammers, Cuba, 62 22. And Cole Camp shuts out Lone Jack, 47 0. I feel like it's usually a big thing to say a team got 50 points, but tonight we might have to count the 70, 60s. 60s. Yeah. I mean, what a week. What a week yeah. of high school football it has been, and the football in Columbia is not done. As Chanel knows, she'll be there tomorrow.